Hello and welcome to IFL's Crafternoon on Facebook. Today we are joined by guest crafter Tegan McCune. We are going to be making hot chocolate bombs. For this project you will need a microwave safe bowl, molds, spoons, and chocolate melting wafers. You do want to make sure you are using melting wafers and not chocolate chips. To make your hot chocolate bomb even fancier, you can use other flavors of melting wafers. You can also add instant coffee, marshmallows, or crushed up peppermint candies. To begin, you're going to want to melt a few of your chocolate wafers in the microwave safe bowl. So this is not something you really measure, it's just something that you're going to want to eyeball. And so you'll put them in the bowl and then melt them in 10 to 20 second intervals in the microwave. Once your chocolate wafers are nice and melted in the microwave, you're going to use the spoon to uh, put the first layer into your chocolate bomb mold. So here I'm using a silicone mold that I bought on Etsy, but if you don't want to purchase a silicone mold or you want to uh, get something that costs a little bit less, you can get a plastic sphere ornament from Michaels and use that as a mold. So when you are putting the chocolate into the um, cavities of the mold, you're just going to spoon it in and then kind of spread it up the sides of the mold, trying to make sure that you get it spread about evenly all the way around the mold. And once you finish the first cavity, then you're going to do the same thing with the second one, using your spoon to pour some chocolate into the mold and then spoon it up the sides. Once you have the chocolate in both sides of your cavity mold, you're going to place that into the freezer to set for about 10 minutes. So now that our first layer of chocolate has set in the freezer for about 10 minutes, we're going to do the exact same thing as we did before. We're going to use the spoon to scoop out some chocolate and pour it into our first cavity mold. Spread it up the sides just like we did before. And then we'll repeat the same thing with the second side so that we have two layers of chocolate inside our chocolate bomb cavity mold. And then we'll put that back in the freezer for about another 10 minutes to let it set up again. Now that our second layer of chocolate has set up in the freezer, we are going to pop them out of the molds. So you can see here I am wearing food safe gloves um, for this step. That helps keep your hands from getting messy because the step does get a little bit messier and it also helps keep fingerprints off the top of the chocolate bombs because it um, helps them keep them nice and shiny. So we're going to press up on the silicone molds and help pop them out. This is a little trickier if you're using that plastic uh, Christmas ornament from Michaels. Um, you can set the mold to one side, and this is the step where we can add uh, any of the other extra things. So in, in this case, I'm going to add some mini marshmallows. So we'll just take just a small handful and put them into one of our spheres and then we'll use a little bit of melted chocolate and just dab it around the outside and this is going to help seal them together. So you want to go all the way around the outside because this is going to help uh, this to stick to the other half of our sphere. Once you have it all the way around the outside you just take the top half and put it on top and try and get them lined up evenly Sometimes it takes a couple tries, and then you can 
use your finger to run it around the outside of the chocolate mold and help create that seal. And you might need to add a little extra chocolate to help fill in any gaps that you may have. all the way around the ball with our melted chocolate. Try and make sure it's nice and sealed, but you don't want this to be too thick because you do want it to be able to break apart uh, once you add the hot water or hot milk. So just one more time, run your finger all the way around. And again, this is why you want to wear some food safe gloves because it does help uh, contain the mess. And now that you have your chocolate bomb assembled, you're going to take it and place it into a large mug. And you're going to take either hot water or hot milk and pour it over the top. You want to pour it slowly just to make sure you don't overflow your mug. But as you go, uh, you will see it start to break apart. And eventually, if you're using marshmallows, they will burst out and float to the top. And then you just give it a stir and enjoy. A great big thank you to Tegan McCoon for helping us learn how to make these awesome chocolate bombs. I hope you enjoy them. Stay safe and see you next week on IFL's Crafternoon on Facebook.